Hey folks, it's Saturday the 16th, and I wanted to talk to you about these little videos. Now, I try and come on on an almost daily basis and share a piece of information that I've picked up, something that I've been taught, something that I've read, something that I've put into practice, and my sincere hope with the whole thing is that it's going to stimulate or trigger a different perspective, a different way for you to look at something, a different way for you to do something, um, whether it be physically, emotionally, in your career, you know, in your relationships with people, in your body, you know, inspire you to take action on something, inspire you to get shit done. Um, but I know that when we talk about things that are not inside your realm of comprehension, i.e. you can't see away from where you are to where you want to go then it can be quite demoralizing and i appreciate that sometimes can have the complete opposite effect if we're talking about something that seems so far beyond where you are that you can't see a way to get there you know because it may be something that you want recognition for it may be something that you want to be acknowledged for but that in itself is going to be a bit of a hollow journey because you're going to have to find a way to do it for you. And also you're going to need to remember that it's not a fast process. It's not a quick process at all. You've got to be really, really intentional about the things you do on a daily basis. You know, you've got to develop those really, really specific healthy habits, healthy behaviors, develop them, ingrain them, repeat them, and make yourself their slave. You've got to remember it's the things that you do repeatedly in private that you are rewarded for in public. These things take time. They take a very long time. We want to get results. You want to get results on the thing that you are driving towards. But you've got to be patient. You've got to be consistent. You know, remember that 10,000 hour rule. When you see an achievement somebody has made, maybe a shift in their body, a shift in their mindset. They appear free from the things that torture you on a daily basis. Substance abuse, you know, anxiety, depression. These things that on the surface appear like they are not connecting with the other people. It's not something that's gonna happen straight away. You know, I, I struggle with many aspects of, uh, of my mental health on a daily basis. You know, it's a thousand different small decisions. Now, on these videos, I try and share a wide variety of personal development. So this is things I've read. This is things I have watched. This is things I have studied. Um, philosophy, books, um, interesting people, you know, getting mentors, getting yourself a coach. These are things that I will have picked up and I'm trying to share with you on a daily basis, but know that these videos are very short in comparison. You know, these are one minute, two minute, five minute videos where I try and condense and refine something that I'm hoping will help you change gears. Something that will knock you off track. Something that will shunt you off your current orbit and encourage you to make a change, to make that long-term change. But I think when people see a a photo of somebody they admire or aspire to be like, or they see a video, they assume that the result took just as long as the media did. It took just as long as the photo took to take. It took just as long as the video took to take. It was never something that somebody heard once or read once or did once that gave them the result that you see before you or the result that you are currently striving towards but you believe is capable for you, you believe it's possible for you. But what you need to remember is that 99.9% .9 he says as an arbitrary percentage statistic, but it ain't gonna be far off that. That amount of things that you do in private is what you will be recognized and rewarded for in public. Now this is not about public recognition. This is not about doing things for other people. In fact, it's quite the opposite because the external gratification will be that 0.1% of the time. Whereas the internal motivation and the internal you know, drive, the self-love that you wanna do it for yourself, 
is going to be the 99.9% because .9 that's the bit you're going to have to do in private. You're going to have to practice it. You're going to have to repeat it. You're going to have to ingrain it. You're going to have to do it every single day almost to make these things a habit that is going to serve you long term. So don't see the things that are external and immediately believe that they are quick and easy to achieve. You know, for every one thing that I share in a video, if you're the sort of person that enjoys watching them, and if you do enjoy watching them, I thank you, first and foremost, and know that these truths that I share are not mine. Nobody can own a truth. A truth is yours to use, is yours to benefit from. You don't have to fully understand a truth in order to benefit from it. Let's be honest, you don't 100% understand how electricity is made. And probably neither do I. I think I've got probably a 90% understanding in terms of how the turbines work and all that sort of jazz. But I don't have a massively accurate understanding of it, but it doesn't mean I don't benefit from it every day. It doesn't mean that I don't turn, run into the corner of my living room and switch the light on and benefit from the light that I am given. Someone has gone, someone has found out how to do it, and they have delivered it to me for me to benefit from. And I want you to take these little videos, these little nudges, these little lessons learned, these little daily examples as those little nuggets. See if you can use them, see if you can benefit from them, see if they can fill a metaphorical hole, a void in your life that you think you need help moving past. But most importantly, know that this needs to start with action. Now, you don't necessarily struggle with things in life because you don't understand them. Because the one thing we are not starved of is information. The one thing we are starved of is implementation. It's the action. You can't think your way into acting better, but you can act your way into thinking better, yeah? You can, if you choose to, do a good action. You can make a good decision. You can implement a good habit, a good strategy. Even if you're not entirely sure whether or not it's gonna work, you know that your current strategy is not working. Therefore, if you just have a go and implement a different approach to your current life, whether that is your health, your hydration, your mood, your relationships, your business, your mindset, all of these things have different strategies that you can apply to them. And you really need to ask yourself, is the strategy you're currently applying working for you? How is it going? Is it going well? If it's not, then maybe we should switch the fucking script because that strategy is clearly not working. It is giving you a mindset, it's giving you a life that you are not enjoying, potentially. So if that is the case, let's just go out on a whim and try something different, shall we? If you take action, and then you see the result of that action, it will convince your very intellectual, intelligent mind to take another risk, quote unquote risk. It will encourage your mind to listen a little bit more, to try something a little bit different. But you need to start with action. Don't just think about it. Don't just be some armchair theatician and not actually practice what you preach. Know that for every one thing that I share with you, I've probably tried 10 to 15 others that haven't worked. And all of these things are just tools in the toolbox that hopefully you can pick up in that time of need. But the big takeaway is that you're gonna to have to practice these things in private. Most of the things you aspire to be in life are gonna be achieved privately. You're gonna achieve them by yourself. Now the end result may happen in front of one, two, 10, 1,000 people, yeah? But it's gonna be a result of something you have practiced consistently in private. So I want you to begin. I want you to take action. I want you to think less, do more. I want you to be less impressed and more involved. I want you to get your head out your ass and do the thing you said you were gonna do. Stop practicing practices that do not give you results. Stop repeating broken strategies. These things are not giving you the results. Try something different. Seek advice, seek guidance. Be intentional about it. Have a plan in place. This has not got to be a 26 point plan. It's not got to be a 10 year plan. It's not going to be a one year plan. It's not going to be a one month plan. It's not going to be a one week plan. Make it a one day plan. Make it a morning plan. Make it this evening. 
How would your evening go if you were the person you want to be? How would tomorrow morning go if you were the person you wanted to be? Think about it. Now go do it.